number one, the average consumer does not back up his or her phone regularly. Number two, you might run out of storage on your phone and then you have to make the decision and the time on which photos and videos you want to delete. And problem number three, possibly your computer and your phone don't work on the same operating system so they don't like to talk to one another. The solution to all of those is this little gadget. Hey everybody, it's me Margaret and I have this little crafty vloggy channel but I'm first and foremost a computer geek so I was really excited when the people at PhotoFast sent me this to try and I was really pleased with it. Now whether you have one, a combination, or all of these problems, this little gadget can solve all of them. I personally struggle with problem number three in that I am a PC person, but I prefer an iPhone. And oftentimes the operating systems don't like to talk to each other. And even if you get them to talk to one another, then there is obviously an OS update on one or the other that will mess it all up. Even a third party app struggles with those updates. So what I need and what is a solution to all the problems I just described is something that can communicate with anything. And that's what this is. So here's how it works. First, you get your product, and then you want to download the app. And it works for both iPhones and Androids, so you're covered there. Now you can easily find this in the App Store, but the instructions give you a handy dandy QR code. So you can just scan it, takes you right to the proper store for your device, and you can do a quick download. Then your PhotoFast needs some power, so go find a brick. And it needs to be able to communicate with your phone, so connect them together with your power cord. Then plug in the brick and this happens. The first time you use it, the app will walk you through the setup process. Now you can change these settings at any time, so I allowed everything to start with. When you finish that, it'll bring you to the home screen and there you can see what all that it can do. Initially, I had mine set to auto backup, so it began as soon as the app was loaded and it looks like this. You can turn this feature off here. Before we get into the details, let's peek at the backup results. Remember that the PhotoFast works just like a flash drive, so simply plug it into a USB port. So here it's telling me that I do have a USB drive plugged in right here. So if I click it, you can see the USB drive, you can see the backup folder here. Underneath that, it's my phone. And then look at this. It has three main folders that it backed up, my calendar, and there are all the files that will replace my calendar entries if anything happened. Contacts, this is all of them. So say I lose my phone or I get a new phone and it didn't transfer over, these files would automatically put everything in there. Then we have the photo folder. And did you see what happened when I opened it up? It divided all my photos up into years. And why do I get so excited about that? Because look at this external drive. I store my photos, my pictures, by year. And I even go so far as to divide them up by months and give them little topics like that. So I have a lot. As I told you, I'm a computer person. I've been doing this. I've had a digital camera since 2001. and. Uh, you know, would scan some even before that. So let's go back to this um, backup drive here to the photo fast and look what they did. Look, it tells you what month. Let me see. Let's go to 2019. Look at this. It gives you every month that I had recorded some pictures right here. So if we click on August of 2019 and we change our view, we can see some of the pictures that I took in August of 2019 and see you've got the dates right there. So for me, I would just copy these right into my picture folder of my external hard drive and that's how I would store them. So you'd store yours however you wanted to. Now let's go back a minute. I'm recording this in January 2021. There are only eight months in my 2019 folder. Where are the other months? Where's the 2020 folder? Well, the PhotoFast ran out of room because I have, oh, about 150 gigs of media on my phone, but only 16 gigs on the PhotoFast at the moment. But I can fix that easily. Now, this thing basically has unlimited storage. So let me explain how that works. All right, backtrack a little bit. You know what this is. This is an SD card. That's what we use in a camera. 
This right here is a micro SD card. Now I use this in my GoPros. This one is 32 gigs and this one is 32 gigs. These two things actually hold the exact same amount of information. Now when I bought my Mini, it came with the adapter. So you just slide it in like this and now you use this exactly like you do this. So now we'll go back to this and look what's hiding right here, the micro SD. And this one only has 16 gigs on it right here and that's what came with it. I do want to mention that on the box it says that it does not include one of these but mine did come with it. And without it, it's essentially useless. There's no onboard storage. So you have to have something to store your stuff. So what I'm trying to say is your storage capacity is unlimited because these things can be purchased individually. And of course, we all know that as technology improves, the capacity for these tiny little micro disks will continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The home screen can be one of two options, advanced mode or simple mode. Simple mode gives you the backup now button, which is just exactly what it sounds like. View photos and restore takes you to the photos folder on the PhotoFast, and there you can choose what you want to put back on your phone. Or if you've got a new phone, you can, you can choose what pictures you want to go on there. External storage simply lets you browse everything on the PhotoFast. You'll see if your contacts, calendar, photos, whatever is backed up. Backup information lets you see the last time you did a backup and if anything has been restored. But advanced mode lets you have more control. Let's look at a few of these. Photo viewer lets you actually see the photos on PhotoFast or your camera roll and you can decide what to do with them individually if you want to. It seems to group them by days so you can see down here how many I took each day. You can even back up your downloaded podcasts and YouTube will take you to YouTube itself and let you download a video by tapping the cache button. And remember, it's only for offline viewing and it's not for you to use in any other way because that would be illegal. Same for Vimeo. You can zip a bunch of files together and that's good for sharing your whole camera roll with somebody or maybe just the pictures you took on a shared vacation or something like that. On the second page of icons, you can see that you can back up and access Google Drive, iCloud, OneDrive, and Dropbox. You can back up your collection of Facebook photos or Instagram, if you choose to give it access to that, of course. So as with any app, you can play around with the different features to see what they do and if you even need them. Now a word about settings. You'll find them when you tap the gear icon at the top right. And when you tap it while in advanced mode, like I've done here, you're going to see many options that you can control and scroll all the way down to the very bottom to find the help options. But when you're in simple mode and tap the gear icon, you'll have fewer settings available to you. And strangely, you have fewer help options. So remember, if you're looking for the facts or the video tutorial on how to use the app, You'll need to go to advanced mode settings in order to find the help section. At the time of this recording, the PhotoFast PhotoCube Pro sells for $49.99 and has a 5.5 star rating, and I'll put a link in the description box below. I do want to point out that it specifically says that an SD card is not included in two places, but mine did come with that little 16 gigabyte card. And this information here is irrelevant. I asked about these errors in the description, but I think there may have been a language barrier. This product comes from Taiwan. But for ease of use, grab yourself a micro SD card that's big enough to back up your entire phone storage in one go. They're really inexpensive these days, and you can do like this lady and back up every night. It's a good idea, by the way, because it could take over an hour if you have a lot of storage on your phone. And it's worth noting that it supports up to a two terabyte card. But if you have an Android phone, look at this chart. At this time, the social and streaming media options are not supported, but I wouldn't be surprised if that changes with future updates. So all in all, I highly recommend this device. It works well and the price is good. The learning curve is low, so even if you're not comfortable with technology, it won't take long to master. Be sure to check the links in the description box, and as usual, thanks for watching. <laughs>